Isn't it nice to just get away from the city and get some peace and quiet? It sure is Mikey. The countryside really makes a change from the industrial world we live in. Wait a second, is that who I think it is? If I didn't say any better, I think it might be Edward Kenway from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It seems like he is back from the dead. Should we go and meet him? Yes. Let's go and meet this legend. Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't happen to be Edward Kinway, would you? Well, as it turns out, I am. Nice to meet you. My name is Michael Dagger. And I am Cecilia Yang. I am Michael's girlfriend. Well, Michael and Cecilia, it's nice to meet you. I am the ghost of Edward Kenway, but don't worry, I'm not here to haunt you. I came back from the dead to spend some time here in the land of beyond. I thought that if Freddie Mercury could do it, then so could I. To be honest, I really do miss being alive. It's a shame that the Templars had to break into my house and shorten my life in the most brutal way possible. And to add insult to injury, my son Haytham joined those monsters and tried to kill my grandson Connor. I just hope that Haytham doesn't come back to haunt me. You don't need to worry about that. Haytham is in hell so there is no way he can come back. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you could haunt Dylan in the same way Gertrude does to Constance to teach him a lesson. <laughs> Ah oh, great, there's that idiot Michael again, hanging out with Cecilia. I'm still outraged that Cecilia rejected Dylan. Dylan is the one that should be with Cecilia, not Michael. And what's even more stupid is that they are not even scared of the ghost over there. Everyone is afraid of ghosts, and it still baffles me how Freddy Mercury is able to hang out with Brainiac Atom. Even Constance Cauldron is scared of her ghostly mother. Wait a second. Scare. Ghosts. This gives me an idea of the prank to play on Michael. Does Tex have a special whistle which emits a disturbing scream sound which is said to scare away evil spirits? I'll hide in a bush and when Michael passes, I will blow my eyes tech death whistle. It will be so funny to see Michael cry like a baby. Ha 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 There is a bush just over there. When Michael passes, I will blow the whistle and give him the scare of a lifetime. Prepare yourself, Michael, because your day out is about to become a memorable one. Well, it's been nice to meet you, but I suppose we had better be on our way. All right, stay safe out there. Perfect. All I have to do now is hide here and wait for the right time. Oh, I think I can see Michael coming now. Say, Sissy, do you ever get the feeling someone is watching you? Sometimes. It's just a feeling that comes unnaturally. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. <coughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's okay, Mikey. Just take some deep breaths like I told you. What the hell just happened? I just heard a disturbing scream coming from this location. I don't know who, but some man popped out of the bush and blew a whistle that looked like a skull. It made a screaming noise which scared Michael. The man then ran off. It sounds like someone blew an Aztec death whistle to scare your boyfriend. Do you have a description of what this man looks like? Well, as far as I know, this man looked like Callum Rockley. But his hair was purple and he had sharp teeth similar to Venom. Although I don't think it could have been Callum himself, he's too good-hearted to do something like that. I think I know who that is. It's Malik. He is a leader of a troublemaking group which was formed in the land of beyond a couple of months ago. Oh no. Not another troublemaking group. We have too many of them here in the land of beyond as it is. Do you know which way he went so that I can catch him and get him in trouble? I think he went that way. Thank you for telling me this. I am really sorry that this had to happen to your boyfriend. But don't worry, Moloch is going to be in serious trouble for what he did. I'll go and hunt him down. You stay here and comfort your boyfriend. Ha 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 Oh my god. That was so hilarious. And because Michael has autism, scaring him was as easy as pie. I bet he is crying like a baby right now. 
Oh, so you thought picking on an autistic boy was a good idea, huh? Mind your own business, Edward. You're dead, so it makes no difference to you. You know what? Feel my death whistle. <coughs> what? The death whistle didn't work on you, but how? The death whistle is supposed to scare spirits away. Nice try, Mullock, but the death whistle only works on evil spirits. I'm a good spirit so your petty death whistle has no effect on me. Now it's my turn. Why have you been defeated? This is so unfair. Crying like a motor car isn't going to get you out the trouble you are in right now. How could you have the audacity to scare Michael like that? What's worse is that you decided to take advantage of his autism. How sick of you. I mean, just look at Michael over there. He is crying his eyes out and he is probably going to be traumatized for a while now. That's it. I am calling your guardian to let him know about what you did. Go home right now. Oh crap, I'm in fright now. I'm so going to get grounded, and it looks like my dinner tonight will be lumpy potatoes. Oh, 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 Mulloch, what in God's name has gotten into you? I can't believe you had the nerve to scare Michael. How could you put him through such a traumatic experience like that? Don't you know he has autism, just like me? How would you like it if someone blew an Aztec death whistle in your face? You wouldn't like it, would you? A while ago, Atto tricked Michael into watching The Mask in 3D, and because Michael is terrified of that film, he had an anxiety attack and had to go to the hospital. You were very lucky history didn't repeat itself, because if it had done, you would have had to pay a huge hospital bill which probably would have cost more than our house. I never thought one man could make Boris the Teeth guy seem like a superhero. That's it. You are grounded until Shin Godzilla makes his appearance in the MonsterVerse. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes for every meal. Go to your room right now, you sick bastard. Wow. And if you don't stop crying like a motor car, I will use Viand Logic to turn you into one, and give you away as a prize on one of Vance's game shows. In case you are wondering where I found out about the Aztec death whistle, there is a scene in Ghostbusters Afterlife where one of the characters uses one. And yes, Aztec death whistles are a real thing, and the scream that you heard from the whistle in this video is the sound of a real Aztec death whistle. Doesn't that sound disturbing? I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, comment like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. This is Callum Rockley signing off.